Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a challenge. I got challenged by Paula from a beauty guru made me do it. I'm sure you know her. I do some collabs with her here on my channel and she is in the same project pants as me sometimes. She did a video three spring looks using three fold palettes and I thought that was an amazing idea. She did so so good. You should definitely check out her video. It will be linked down below. She chose three palettes that reminded her of fall and then she kind of took the colors in the palettes that reminded her most of spring and then turned it into a spring look instead of a fall look. I think you know what I mean. So why not just make it a W7 video? <laughs> I have three palettes here and they remind me of fall and I thought some of the colors I could turn into spring looks. So I have done that. The first look I used the W7 Delicious palette and this is the Modern Renaissance renaissance dupe it is looking like this so you can definitely see some fall colors because there are these rusty orangey shades there are these burgundy red shades and the deep brown so i took i think this shade it doesn't have names <laughs> i took this shade and then i took the more pinky reddish shade that one and then i took the mauve shade and then I believe I took this shimmery champagne shade all over my lid. I thought it was looking very spring-like because it was faded out so it was like but at the same time a pigmented pinky red shade and then the very light lid shimmer lid shade so i thought it turned out really really nice and um, yeah i definitely think i accomplished the spring look with this fall palette The second look. In Paula's video she did the subculture palette uh, for the second look and I thought perfect I have the subculture dupe from W7. It is on the rocks palette. I love this thing so much. And I was like I don't want to do just like Paula because I wanted to use kind of the same shades. I believe I used this shade. I don't really remember. I definitely used the coal. As did she. Yeah, I took the blue shade. This is more green. So I took the blue shade right here. And I believe I took the yellow, this one. Yeah, the blue, the yellow, the coal, maybe this one. And then I took some glitter glue. I think I used glitter glue in all three looks, to be honest. And then I took the glitter glue and used this. I thought it was going to be a beautiful, reflective, white pinky shade that would fade really nicely into the blue but to my surprise it was turning into a lavender purple color it looked so good with that look and um, I'm really really surprised that it turned out purple but I didn't really mind because that just reminded me a little bit more of spring
for the third look the look that i have on today it really does look like a look like a look i did in the beginning of the year for my panda palette but this is the dovey semi dusk till dawn i believe this is a dupe for the huda beauty oh i don't remember what it's called but it is a huda beauty palette dupe i don't remember the name of it to be honest this is the palette and you can make this a fall look because these uh, shimmer shadows right here they are kind of dark so and taupey so i thought that would make a beautiful natural look in the fall time because the orange and the red are very bam so that was my intention and then i looked at it and i was like the peachy and the purple and the corresponding shades um, they would look very nicely together and they're kind of spring-like. I had a little bit of a struggle with the uh, matte purple because it didn't want to... Uh, wanted to blend and blend away, but it didn't want to stick. So, for next time I use that purple, I definitely need to put it on a sticky base before, before uh, my crease shadow. But I used this in my crease this in my outer corner, this on my lid, and then this on my outer corner as well to <laughs> cover up the patchiness that the pebbles did. I don't like it. Can you see that? It's so patchy. I like this so much better. Why did I try to peg it off? Happening. You, see, you see, it's disappearing. Now my eyes are watering. I can't. Ugh. This purple is so bad. I'm just trying to build it up, and it's just getting more and more patchy towards the middle. You see? So that's just awesome. Let's do something else. Let's put the purple shimmer in my outer corner. I fucked it up, so why not just keep going? That's kind of working. Kind of. And now I just have massive fallout in my mind. So we kind of have to do the same on the other side. I don't get why it's looking so much better on my left side than my right. Don't get it. But it's not looking awesome. But Looking better. But 
just need to stop messing around with it. Okay, this was so much better. So, let me just apply my liner and then... I used this for the third look and I paired it with a purple winged liner and it got quite big but I really don't mind because uh, those purple shades they became a little bit patchy and I think I covered that up and then I uh, for the look number two I used the same uh, lip color without the gloss on top so it's kind of uh, peachy and this is like orange and for the first one a pink lip liner so I tried to do it a little bit more peachy call so it was spring like that is everything for this um challenge makeup video <laughs> i don't know really what to call it but thank you so much for challenging me paula it has been so much fun and you guys should really check out paula and her video if you haven't already seen it it is so amazing i really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want more like this or um, a pillow bingo or something I can maybe do that in the morning because I have tried to get up a little bit earlier so I can film in the morning time because I really really like that because I have more energy in the morning than in the afternoon when I get home from work so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as I have said so many times right now and until my next video please take care